I'm sure that Jane thinks that a bunch of people knew who she was because she said that on Twitter. That, oh, people knew me before the wrestling. Well, we didn't. You weren't on fucking national television before, so whatever the fuck. But she's never had a match. She's never been involved in the wrestling industry. AEW, they find her, they train her, they pay her, they put her on television, they have her win 69 matches in a row, even though there is never, there was never a long program with anybody or a rivalry. You mentioned it was almost like two different women's divisions. She was given her own belt that she was the first holder of. They put her over, even though, as again, no great rivalries, no great promos, no main pay-per-view matches, or they just have her come out and win every week that you see her until finally she does one job and then leaves and says, kind of fuck it. I would be remiss to not speak on this as well. Um, shout out to um, Jim Cornette. Listen to his podcast as well. And Jim Cornette has a different view of how we're looking at this. Jim Cornette is like this. His view is this. She is green as all outdoors. She never had any adversity. She's won like 60 matches against not even girls who we know. Just like Mimi and Rocky too. And um, his, his, his manager is like, they were all bums, Rocky. Like he's like... <laughs> He was like, oh, I'm the champion. He was like, they were all bums. I made sure you fought bums. And it's like, damn. So, but he was saying that, you know, she was only wrestling for two, three years. And she hasn't put in enough work to get to WWE and 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 get in that, that environment. You see what I'm saying? And get up in there and they tell her, you know, you got to lose a couple. How is she going to feel about that? Like, Shorty, but I think she's been open about that though. I think she's been open about being, being, uh, being open to being taught and learning and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. What do you want? Because, because, because Cornette, he, I, he, 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 come on, he's a vet. He, he, he's a, he's a psychological wrestling psychological genius. Him and Zeb Coulter thinks the same thing. AKA, um, y'all know the dude that was with, um, uh, what's your man name? Uh, Paige's boyfriend, toxic boyfriend. Oh, uh, uh Alberto Dario. Remember right. the, the guy who was in, um, the, 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 the wheelchair with him? The, the, oh, uh, 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 now his uh, name is real, his real name is Dutch um, Mantel. Dutch Mantel right? used mm-hmm. to be a wrestler, and he's he has a great mind too. And he's like, you know, he loves he loves how she wrestled, but he was like, you know, he she never had a storyline in AEW. She never had a storyline. He and he was breaking down. He was like, you know, the thing with Sami Zayn. They had Sami Zayn losing for a whole year or whatever. Um, but when they put him in storyline mode, he's a beast in storyline. Mm-hmm. She never been in no time. She's just, I'm I, where my baddies at come out, talk shit. You need more than that. When you come into the big leagues, they going to put you in a storyline. So they both were just saying, you know, we, she may be good in the storyline, but we just don't know. And maybe WWE, we was talking about, um, the Olympian, the Olympic dude, Gabe, Steve, Gabe, Gabe, Steve. Gabe, Gabe yeah. Steves him. They, 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 they put him out there like, like they putting her out there and pulled out the red carpet. Dud. She a little different, but um, she never been in the storyline. She never but been I, in the storyline. They, they said that she had the Goldberg effect. Uh, on Not Sam, um, yeah. uh, squash matches. Shout out to Not Sam Wrestling. Right. Um, also, 
somebody in our comment section was like, she'll be good, but just don't let her go past 15 minutes or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or does she never been in a long, long match. form match? So I like her attitude coming into WWE because she's willing to learn. And I told you last time we talked about it, she's going to need a really bomb ass trainer. And they got because the, 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 she's, yeah. They got the best trainers in the world. She, she, the talent is there. And I don't even think they're going to try to force anything. They're just going to, I think her at the performance center the other day was just seeing where, where she's at. Mm -hmm. And I think what's going to happen is they're not going to try to teach her new shit. They're just going to look at what she has and cultivate that. Make, sharpen, it yeah, sharpen it like shit and along the way she's going to learn new skills from um becky from from charlotte from bianca because bianca came in the same way bianca was a fitness chick just like uh, she was athletic her and bianca is the same person basically bianca mm -hmm. learned that shit like that but again she was in nxt with those trainers and bianca yeah. is a beast right now yeah, yeah, absolutely. So it's it's gonna be. It's a lot of pressure on her right now it is a to lot of perform pressure. because this is one of their first person being signed on the TKO. Mm -hmm. They they're you know going off of her streak in AEW, mm -hmm. and. They're going to see how she's going to add up or measure up to some real competition, which she didn't really have too much of in AEW. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see, and they and they're going to put her through the ringer um, again. You know, getting her through some of that NXT talent, mm -hmm. but also still keeping her uh, on main level of Raw. I think it's going to be a good thing to have her juggle both and see how she does.